Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present. Yeah. Not hmm. really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this well, I was gonna try to avoid nudity, but I guess that's one. not an option. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which, there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope. You can't live. But let us cut to the I don't chase. know about hope. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. Yep. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyor to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyor, you will have your fuel. Oh, shit's Everyone about to kick off. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. <laughs> oh yeah. He locked it from the other side. That coward. Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want to see it. Now you will all die. Starting with you, you. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> huh? Who's next? Hey, fella. Shots were coming from him. Found him. The attraction of forbidden. It is an aura of problems nobody needs. Anybody else? Hello? The med kit. That's such bullshit.
for you. Hold on. Now I'm ready for you, you bastard. What? What? How do you survive this? I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to survive this. There we go, just die already. Oh shit. Oh, impressive. So, this is the plan Gul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there. I'll send people to cover your retreat. The door's giving. Well, let's give it a shove, Artyom. We're going in. Oh, which is why you're gonna die. Goodbye. Kick open. Hooking the tank up. You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. Come on, Demir, stay with the me. The winning end. Demir? Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help oh, my people. Shit. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. Fair enough. <laughs> Honestly, I was so worried. I don't feel bad about that one. Oh, wait. Fanatics on the banks of Volga 
cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Aww. That's nice, Ilya. Well, I guess we'll just have to get back into Metro next time, where we're going to hopefully greener pastures. I don't think I got the good end with Demir, but I mean, honestly, I kind of like his ending better when he stays with Yule, because that's his own personal thing. It feels weird just to like steal him away from that. You know, those are his people, like I get it. So I'm not mad about that ending, as long as we, I think we have... Uh, I think like there's like a certain like the way you get the good in you have to keep a certain amount of people and not lose so many. So I think we're doing good. One uh one for two, one out of two. So you know, that's not horrible. Brighter future after the Caspian Sea. I didn't mean this. Oh, I had to move. Oh. <whistles> Hello. <coughs> Damn, it's fine, because she's our wife. We left awful. the sands long ago, and it still persists. <coughs> What does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll Damn, be there she in a moment. With it. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, eh, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly. Because I believed her. And then she killed herself. Drank some kind of poison. 
Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then, my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. God, that's then sad. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? High rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saves do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing. You. Perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro? Those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there, even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. How sweet. All right, let's get out of no, here. No, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Where's the damn door? Oh, ooh, wait. Radio. Let's see if I can get anything new.
That doesn't bode well for Demir. Let's see if I can find anything else. Demir here. I could only oh, Demir. my scrambler to the transmitter, so don't bother replying. <laughs> Besides, this is a record. I do want to make sure you guys get my message after all. <laughs> it just felt wrong after a while. The way we parted ways. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how it went. Now that I thought about it, you really had no choice. But what's done is done. And now that you We'll finally free my people once and for all. We have to clear the remaining guns before the raging force comes back, so we arranged a little meeting with them to choose the new high priest. Now that the Baron's out of the picture. We don't have many fighters yet, but luckily both of the bosses want to become kingpin and they both disregard me completely. So we'll just use that against them. Huh. is a real genius and power play. Still, no plan is bulletproof. So, uh, I just wanted to say one day to the whole crew and you, Archie. Thanks for making me feel like a rock for once. For giving me a place I could go home for a while. I will remember this for as long as I live. Caprak man, and Godspeed to you all. Damir, over and out. Praying for you, Damir. Hope you get what you want with your people. What about this deal? The Baron, that old dog, is dead. I killed him myself. All of the Moonlight by Lair are confused now, like headless chickens. Our day has come. Fight them. Fight them however you can. Come where the Baron's rig used to be. Come and we'll give you weapons. You served those dogs for too long. And what did you get in return? Only cruelty. So much about all the characters, Jesus.
Alright, let's go, I guess. Yoink. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Is it the wedding? I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <laughs> it is in River Valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! 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 This is not our last order of business for today. <laughs> Step on. Katya. Oh, Prince. Step on. Katya. Repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, to be, be my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. For better or for worse, for, 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 for better or for, for worse. For richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to death do us part. How sweet. I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and... Gorka! Gorka! I have no idea what Gorka means. Oh, shit. Few words. 
Yeah, you don't look too good. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. Constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, I'm caught out some blood. Oh my god. Do you really think it's the scent? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What to do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For men are sick, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. Advanced state persons. I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car. Oh, out yeah, sure, just push me around. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, everybody just stays through me. Yeah, just phase through me, sure. No problem here. Yeah, at least it looks greener. Well, not on this side, but on this side it does. That sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yelmantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. To you. To you. Great toast. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой волк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. 
Их дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с собой. А если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться to the valley. 